Yeah. How you feeling, Keaton? Good, man. How are you? So, how's it, how's it feel being in Comic Con so far? It's nice. It's nice. Yeah, I had a nice trip. I'm, I'm connecting with people that I know and meeting new people. So, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty fun. Have you been to New York Comic Con before? Yes. Yes, I have. Wonderful. I know it's here. Um, you've always, I love doing What If. So, Thank you. Um, how did What If first come to you? Uh, just like any other audition. Just any, it, it, uh, it came through my agent, and they said they wanted a, a Chris Evans, Steve Rogers voice match. And so I basically just auditioned for it and uh, went through a couple callbacks and, and ended up booking the job. Being during the pandemic, were you able to record any of the actors on Zoom or whatnot? Um, no, this was all by myself. Before, well, we actually started recording for it before the actual lockdown. Um, so those sessions I did at Disney, but by myself. And then um, post lockdown, the sessions were done at my house. Have you got a chance to meet any of your co stars from What If? No, everybody records separately for the show. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Is there even a little bit you can tease about the current season two of What If? I can't because I don't know what's going to happen. So you just got to gotta watch and see what happens. I'll leave after you, Hydra Stomper. Thanks so much, Mr. Keaton. Thank